Good evening everyone, I am Ishan Rathi and I am Vaishnavi Gopal Raj. Welcome to CityCast Bengaluru. The Department of Health and Family Welfare says that there is an increase in screening of measles across the state amid a national outbreak. Our reporter Asta Khadi finds out more about the issue. World Health Organization India has reported 12,773 cases of measles till November this year. It's the highest number in four years. Nowadays few cases are coming up that because of mainly lack of vaccination, lack of awareness towards the vaccine. Symptoms of measles include high fever, cough, runny nose and watery eyes. The rash appears three to five days after the first symptom. Doctors say that young children are the most affected. So it, there's no typical treatment for this case. That's why vaccination is very important in such care. There is no treatment available, but the disease is almost entirely preventable through vaccine. According to local health officials, screening for the virus outbreak has already begun in the state. I have given direction to the district that they have to do a headcount survey, pick up the child who has not received either first dose or second dose, and then uh, get them covered immediately. We have also told them to uh, report any cases of fever and rash. Experts suggest that there must be awareness about the vaccination on the measles to prevent further infection. The Election Commission says the citizens have multiple voter ID cards resulting in faulty voter, uh, sorry, faulty voter list. Our reporter Megharani tells us more about the issue. BBMP published the draft electoral roll in the beginning of November with around 3 lakh deletion of voters from last year. BBMP Chief Commissioner Tushar Girinath said that this deletion was done because it was demographically similar entries. <laughs> BBMP data showed that highest deletions is recorded in Bengaluru South Assembly constituency with around 46,000 voters and the lowest deletion was recorded in Rajajinagar with 12,500 votes. Experts say that BPMP should also focus on awareness programs so that people can participate in advance to check the voter list and make corrections. Uh, election Commission also has to come up with a concrete one-time kind of uh, voter slip option. Okay. Similar to some kind of other card, they have to come up with the voter card so that it is a permanent one and irrespective of whether you shift wherever it is, so you can vote only one floor that people can come and say this is the issues and they can get it rectified. And then uh, officials said that people should surrender their old ID before making a new one. This is Megharani from CityCast, Bangalore. Bangalore University organized voters awareness program which was interrupted by protesting students. Our reporter Isha tells us why. Student protested against Baba Saab Ambedkar's portrait missing in the event. So we are uh, from the uh, student organization side like uh, post graduation and the uh, uh, research scholars association from Bangalore City. We came uh, and uh, came to the event and uh, we interrupted the, uh, this thing uh, program as well. We instructed, uh, we, we given a deliberation uh, like we instructed uh, authorities to place the portrait and they apologized before the hall and uh, they corrected their mistake and uh, they promised that even uh, register admin has promised that they will uh, issue a circle and regard this to uh, for the upcoming events. Dean of University Law College says it is important for youth to register and vote. Youth constitutes 25% of the total vote who are aged between 18 to 25 years. Out of 95 crore voters, about 35 crore voters are the youth. So they can register even online, in the online portal, uh, in the election commission online portal, wherein uh, they can fill the online form, they can enclose the uh, proof of birth, birth certificate or photo and all and after a successful submission of the application they will get uh, the voter ID card so that they can conveniently cast their vote. 
The registrar told that he will issue a circular regarding the placement of portrait of B.R. Ambedkar in all the constitutional events. The awareness event ended with a protest due to the absence of B.R. Ambedkar's portrait. Isha Singh Khushwa, Citycast, Bangalore. Right after the break, we will look at Bangalore Metro's new strategy to generate their revenue. Welcome back, you are watching CityCast. A new bookstore at Majestic Metro Station is an effort to increase BMR sales revenue. Our reporter Asa Chopra explores their plans to increase overall revenue. BMRCL plans to expand its revenue generation model by venturing into a wider array of commercial dealings like shops, banners, posters, advertisements and parking spaces. Honestly, it's more than 900 to almost 1000 crores in a loss. 2000 crores is a loss due to the Covid and everything. And the BBNP at that moment, due to certain reasons, they have stopped advertising. The bookstore creates uh, interest in people to read. Nowadays, it is slowly evading. You know, people are towards it. They get the habit of learning. They say that this is being done in an attempt to counter the 1000 crore loss of revenue that pandemic induced. Nama Metro has floated several new tenders and had announced that the commercial space at the station will also be increased. The book is in the bookshop. There are books in Canada, English, Malayalam, Tamil and Telugu books. लोग मेट्रो को सभी पैसेंजर आता है वेटिंग करने के लिए इधर आता है ना बुक पढ़ने के लिए और Experts suggest that this foray into a wider range of commercial activity will help the metro cover up its losses soon. Sahitya Academy opened, which was yesterday opened, and we spent our best time here. The main thing is that here the books are all in multiple languages, so you can explore it. Economist says that as more commuters take to public transport in the city, user interaction at commercial outlets is bound to increase over time. Asta Chopra for CityCast, Bangalore. Announces the new launch of intercity electric bus services. Our reporter Anamika Das tells us why. KSRTC to launch electric intercity bus services in the state by the end of this year. 50 electric buses will run in six new roads and charging bus stations will be set up at four depots. Officials say that the launch is delayed in comparison. BMTC has already launched 300 buses. Because due to that uh, Ukraine and uh, China, this one war, no Russia war, so that parts and materials have not come, so that uh, manufacturers delayed. Officials say that once charged, buses can run up to 250 to 270 kilometers. It will be helpful in covering the whole journey without any issue. Officials claim that they will launch more buses next year. Anamika Das, Citycast, Bangalore. Bescom says they have achieved less than the target for solar installation in the city. Our reporter Saurabh Kumar from the South-South Summit Global Leaders stress on the importance of switching on the alternative sources of energy. Bengaluru residential sector reached only half of its rooftop solar installation target. The South-South Summit stressed on the need for sustainable alternative energy. It emphasized on the importance of synergy between the policy makers and implementation agencies. At the local level, Bescom is struggling to meet its sustainable energy goals. It could reach only about 5 MW of solar rooftop installation target in more than 3 years. On the other hand, internationally, Ethiopia has taken positive steps in sustainable energy use. So the government basically sat down and said, look, how do we maximize financing towards that? So everything was channeled towards that. So you take most of the resources of the national economy and, and external financing, you all channel them through this well-thought-out, quote-unquote, strategy. Bescom officials say the private sector hesitated to participate due to non-disbursement of funds by the government on time. Increase in the photovoltaic cells price and other components also lead to their non-participation. Since 2019, Bescom received only a little over 1500 applications for household rooftop solar system installation. They should not interfere with the, you know, the, you know, the scheme actually. So they will, even subsidies should not have anything. No subsidies should be given. Only subsidies should be given to the manufacturers of the components. Oh. Bescom officials informed that this year, on average, only 5 to 10 rooftop solar installation requests were received. They plan to introduce several awareness campaigns from early next year. This is Saurav Kumar reporting for CityCast, Bangalore. The Ministry of Housing Affairs says there is, a, there is need for better uh, construction and demolition management. Our, our, our reporter Rhythm Sharma tells us why. 
A report published by the Ministry for Housing and Urban Affairs in collaboration with Anant University on construction and demolition waste highlights the impact of it on environment and the urgent need for CND waste management. CND waste generates carbon emissions apart from air, noise and water pollution. According to Building Materials and Technology Promotion Council, India generates 100 million tons of construction waste annually. Bangalore is one of the major cities affected by CND waste. It has only one recycling centre. Construction waste is dumped by contractors at illegal sites across Bangalore. There are major dumping spots near lakes like Balindur and Varthur. Recycle agiro, agdeiro materials? Like recycle the steel, BBMP officials said that they plan to set up a new recycling centre to process CND waste in the next three months. According to environmentalists, the damage caused by construction waste is as harmful as the damage caused by plastic and other kinds of waste. The report also mentions that most cities, including Bangalore, are concerned about the necessary finances and business case of CND waste recycling. Rhythm Sharma, reporting for Citycast, Bangalore. Rise in breast cancer cases in Karnataka. Stay with us. Welcome back to CityCast. Breast cancer cases are increasing in Bangalore. Women between 20 to 30 years are mostly susceptible. Our reporter Ekta will tell us why. Data from the Kidwai Memorial Institute of Oncology shows that breast cancer contributes 29.4% among all cancer cases. Bangalore recorded the second highest number of cancer cases after Chennai. Breast cancer can be diagnosed early. Many patients tend to ignore symptoms. I am a working woman who has a BG schedule. I have 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 a BG schedule. Oncologists say that women are not aware of breast cancer and they think that symptoms like painless lump in breast do not require doctor's consultations. Weights and genetics are the main factors in increasing the breast cancer. In the alcohol, many girls are now taking it alcohol at a very young age and they are smoking and having a child at the age or after the age of 35 years are not breastfeeding the child because of some many, many factors like work schedule or stress in the life. Experts say that to prevent from breast cancer, one should be physically active and follow healthy lifestyle. Sisters should uh, they become they should become more active. Like uh, many years uh, mobile addicted, no, they have addiction for mobile. They will sit and do their work entire lifestyle lifetime. They'll spend on their mobile only. So that should be avoided. They should uh, follow some healthy habits. Experts believe that more awareness programs have to be done and people should follow healthy lifestyle. Ekta Jha City Gas Bangalore. With the ongoing FIFA World Cup holding the enthusiasm of the city's sports in a grip, our reporter Subhi Sada looks into the problem of football of Bangalore's football club. Bangalore has almost 300 football clubs, yet there are only six turf grounds for players to train. Clubs say the Karnataka State Football Association should make more training grounds available. It's a lot of problem for the practice. So we have to hire the grounds outside. The club has not, has not got any uh, sponsors or anything. We are doing it by own. We don't have any sponsors from it's our own pocket. From our, yes. We are doing it everything. So I know from the case of also we, have, we don't have any with multiple leagues at various levels, football in Karnataka has been able to reach to almost 30 districts. With the ongoing Bangalore District Football Association tournament, 20 teams have been playing the Super Division. Players say the association should also keep in mind the growing need of infrastructure. Like we should book before the... Like we have so many teams here, everybody keeps booking the tournament. And even this under-18 boys, like under-19 boys, everybody practices here. So we should book it like, before like, everybody. While the players and club owners complain about poor infrastructure, including no digital boats, the Karnataka State Football Association says lack of funds and space availability are the reasons for not having enough grounds. They say that the turfs or the artificial grounds cost a lot. 
Regarding the development of the stadium, I do not know whether you are aware that Ozone has won the bid to build the stadium, <coughs> but they are not able to be, get the necessary permissions from the government. So we are also in touch with them of late, we are putting pressure on them. So unless they pull out, we can't do anything because it's an international tender. So hopefully some movement will come on that front. Karnataka State Football Association also says that the clubs are registered only when the club owners assure them that their club has a place to practice. Nonetheless, today's match between Bengaluru Independence FC and Young Challengers FC was nothing less than a treat to the eyes, with Bengaluru Independent FC swiping a 3-1 victory and going strong in the tournament. This is Surbhi Sada reporting for CityCast, Bangalore. District mental health report shows there has been increase in the anxiety and depression. Our reporter Shreya Pandey tells us why. According to the district mental health report data, it shows that there is an increase of 22% in the number of anxiety and depression cases in Bangalore urban. I was diagnosed of uh, generalized anxiety disorder two years ago. Um, I often experience symptoms such as breathlessness, cold sweats and hot flashes. The psychiatrist says that timely therapy and medication must be given to all the patients suffering from anxiety and depression so that it does not lead to other health implications. So commonly when we come across patients of anxiety, we usually educate them as to what anxiety is about, how it can manifest in physical symptoms as well as psychological symptoms. Treatment wise, there are different options for anxiety. Uh, we have psychological uh, counselling or therapy. We also have medications. Experts say that psychotherapy sessions must be given so that the patients do not have to suffer in the future. In light of the rising cases of anxiety and depression, the Mind Research Foundation has come out with digital mental health support solutions that provide evidence-based tools and techniques that encourage people to seek timely help. This is our offering as a scalable solution for improved patient access and convenience. Expert says if a patient faces any anxiety or depression symptom, they should reach to the therapist to get timely help. Shra Pandey, Siddhikas, Bangalore. School on Wheels, as in an initiative by BBMP, has helped the student to get re-enrolled in the schools. Our reporter Sreshri tells us more. More than 150 students were admitted back to schools after studying in the buses which the BBMP has arranged. Teachers who are part of this initiative said that around 10 students have joined government schools this year after studying in the buses. There are currently 300 students between the age of 3 to 7 years enrolled in this initiative and the buses are parked next to the slums so that the children find it easier to reach these buses. This will help in cultivating the importance of education in children and their parents. <laughs> The school on wheels was started a year ago. Currently, there are 10 buses running all over Bangalore. BBMP has also collaborated with NGOs to increase its reach in slums. Assistant Commissioner of Education says that this initiative is a temporary medium to bring students back to schools and encourage them to study. And try uh, visiting their uh, habitats and uh, encouraging them to uh, join the mainstream schools. That is a place where the proper education will be imparted. School on wheels cannot replace the actual education as it is just a bridge between the students and the mainstream education. Srishti Srinivasan, reporting for CityCast, Bangalore. For more such stories, look, log on into website uh, citycast.in. Till then, keep watching CityCast, Bangalore. This is Ishan. And this is Vaishnavi Gopal Raj, signing off.